Welcome everybody to our fifth booster box of our case. After the success of our last box, I uh, brought some sleeves this time around. So I will be uh, hopefully getting equally as legendary of pulls as we got on book box four. If you haven't watched that one, that's probably the best box by far. So 24 packs in here. Let's see what we get. We're getting pretty close to uh, some you know, maybe basic sets of stuff. So we're starting off strong with Chewbacca pack. Let's see what we got in here. All right, we have Tarkin. And I'm gonna go a little faster. Now that I'm experienced in how this works, I feel like a little more confident. All right, Smoke and Cinders and Infiltrator Skill. And we did not have a Borderless or Hyperspace. Um, that's a bummer, but I'm just gonna call it Borderless because Hyperspace is just, ugh. For some reason, does not roll off my tongue in the same way, and I always struggle. All right, we have a Jin Urso. I guess I should have said that I have a good feeling about this box before opening it. And our rare is Spark of Rebellion, and our foil is Disarm. So this box is, you know, not as good as our last box so far, but we're only two packs in with 20 two to go. So another Tarkin. Let's see. Our first uh, borderless card and our rare is going to be, oh, it's another borderless card rather. Our rare is Jetta. And then Capital Bouncer is our uh, foil there. Katina Battle Bouncer rather. All right. Nothing uh, super great so far, but lots of time. Ooh, a rare Hera to start things off. And then, so what are we going to get in this one? Zeb and General Veers. And Rook is our rare. And then a seasoned Shore Trooper. So kind of bad. Um, I'm, I really hope I get a showcase, but I only bought one case, so statistically speaking, I should not get a showcase foil. It's one per two cases. Ooh, Capital City. Always fun getting a location in the borderless variation, because the token on the back is also precision fire. So two borderless in this pack. And our rare is, ooh, the Millennium Falcon. This is actually one of the better legendaries, so... Very cool. And then our foil is a foil uh, rare. You're my only hope. So, okay. I think Money and Falcon's like a $12 card. I mean, all this stuff is going to be figured out because people still don't know what the demand is for any of this stuff, right? So it's kind of a wait and see. You know, do people want to collect this? I actually think box prices, metal ceremony, have gone up pretty significantly since I, I got these boxes for about... 88 a piece, and I think they're like 95, 96. Bail Organa is our rare, and then Asteroid Sanctuary is our um, foil. But yeah, so bo booster box prices have gone up from about 88 to 98. You know, you can say, oh, what's ten dollars? But that's like a, you know, over 10 percent increase since release, and I think product is still pretty cheap and plentiful. I don't see a reason for them not to print this into Oblivion but I think you're gonna have more people wanting to play or collect. And we have an Obi-Wan and then a Foil Kanan. Uh, I think I said this before, but I don't care for that Obi-Wan art. It's just fine. All right, I'm hoping we got some good treats in here. William Falcon's a good pull, but... Um, ooh, right off the bat, we get a Borderless Chewbacca. And then Castroid City. Alrighty, and our borderless or our borderless is heavy hardpoint blasters. Traitorous is our rare, and then keep fighting is our foil. I mean, the worst thing that can happen to you if you're into collecting is you can get a really good pull because it's like winning at the casino, man. You're like, I need to buy more packs because of course that's going to happen to me, even though statistically it shouldn't happen to me. All right, right off the bat, we have a rare Grand Inquisitor, who's not a borderless. It's just hard sometimes with the Imperial backdrop to see what's part, um, borderless. And 
And if I miss anything, please let me know. Ooh, Ember Palpatine is our rare. And then System Patrol Craft is our foil. So, um, <clears throat> I guess I'll build a deck on Emperor Palpatine. I now have two of them, so maybe I'll build something in red, although he's so expensive. It's hard to get him out. All right, ISB Viper Droid, Greedo, and our rare, ooh, yes! This Vader is very good. Probably one of the best legendaries, uh, you know, top, top three, if not the best. So this, uh, I think it's like a $40 card. So we did okay. And then we got a foil rare for a cause I believe in, which I think I got in rare. So now I have a rare one and a foil one. So it's a pretty good pack. A legendary Vader plus a uh, foil rare. So cool stuff there. All right, Chewbacca. Let's see. It's like trying to savor this as well as, all right, we have a rare heroic sacrifice. I'm gonna stick this off to the side so we can still see Vader. And then a borderless, is this a foil? Yes, it is. Sorry, I just had trouble seeing a uh, common foil. So, hyperspace. I think this is a great image of Vader. If I had to rank this one, I think I would give it like a, a solid uh, seven and a half out of 10. I try to reserve my high rankings here for something truly remarkable. Tactical advantage. All right, our rare is going to be Fallen Lightsaber. This matches well with Vader. And then our foil is no good to me dead. And this is not a borderless, it's just a normal one. But yeah, the Imperial Bear, I, I know that the, you know, borderless obviously look different, but every time I get an Imperial card like that, it, it always throws me for a bit of a loop. Um, it doesn't help when you're looking through a camera lens. So we have a uh, site, which is always great to get. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all of these extra cards. The sorting is uh, no joke. And we, ooh, a borderless bail. We like that. Oh, and so that's in our borderless slot. And then we have a U-Wing reinforcement. So that's a nice rare. And then in our foil, we have an outmaneuver uncommon foil. And uh, you can't really see it on the camera, but this one looks pretty cool. So, so put him on top of bail. Okay, this has been, we picked things up, the Vader, really helps in a foil bail um you know we would love to get a few more good ones a showcase foil i think is probably not in our cards today so our rare is going to be frontline shuttle and then our foil is resupply i think i've been averaging about Four legendary. That really good box, box number four, had seven legendaries, which is, uh, I think that makes it a legendary box, perhaps, but, um, you know. Okay, we got a nice borderless city there, or uh, base, rather, and see here, frontline shuttle, which, oh, so we just got this in rare, so now we got it in borderless, and then relentless is our rare, which is a Star Destroyer, and, oh, wow, wowza. Uh, I didn't want to cover up Vader here. I wanted people to got to see him. Um, we got a foil legendary home one in our foil slot. So that is pretty cool, guys. So I think that brings our legendary count up to two for this box. I, I need to remember if I pulled something else. But uh, would love the hyperspace treatment there, but... You know, so it goes, so it goes. We are happy with that. All right, what else are we about to find here? And Electro Staff is our rare. Set that off the side. And then our foil is Seven Fleet Defender. Um, I'm gonna try, I wanna find a way of displaying these a little bit. I'll just set them off to the side. Um, all right, we have about seven packs left. This goes so much quicker when you know what you're doing. So, all right, next pack. 
right off the top, we have a borderless this guy from Rogue One Chirrut. So that's pretty cool to get a borderless leader. And then I would love to see the statistics of all of this. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. And then our rear is gonna be Vigilance. So we got another legendary here. We're at three legendaries. And then our foil is a borderless foil called Cargo Juggernaut. If it wasn't so expensive, I would think about collecting a borderless foil set, but I just don't think I have it in me. This is pro Ooh, a borderless IG-88. Cool. All right. What do we got? Vanguard Infantry. This is a nice 7 out of 10 art. It's not bad. Inferno 4. Jordana. Han Solo is our rare. And then Admiral Piet, who is a uncommon foil, is our foil there. So, not bad. All right, we are down to, let's see here, about five packs. Almost knocked the camera off of that one. That would have been uh, quite cataclysmic. All right. So we have Leia. And our rare is going to be Del Miko. Oh, he's from, um, is he from uh, Andor maybe? I don't know. Interesting. Um, I'm not actually quite sure. And then Rugged Survivors. I, I've said this before, but I like that image. I think it looks like a Walking Dead comic, <laughs> which appeals to me. Uh, so we are at three legendary and a few rare foils and some kind of interesting hyperspace stuff. So not too bad. Some borderless leaders as well. All right. Waylay, which we got. We have a borderless and then on borderless one no good to me dead rogue squadron skirmisher you're my only hope is our rare and then force surrender which is an uncommon foil is our foil all right four packs left guys still four chances at greatness um meanwhile i'm, I'm trying to find the right box to put all my <laughs> commons and how to sort them i just need to be left alone for three hours to sort this stuff but that's never the case Oops, I was doing a spoiler there. My sorry. Ruthless Raider, and I had no choice. Eh, five out of ten art. Five out of ten, but we do have a cool Snowtrooper Lieutenant foil. I had no choice. Lando. Trying to justify his actions. Don't we all do that? All right. And right off the top, we have a Cassian Andor rare leader. That's pretty cool. I still don't know if the showcases are in the foil slot or the leader slot. I think it's the foil slot. Um, resilient. Old Yoda. Cantina Bouncers. General Taj. Wedge Antilles is our rare. And then Cantina Braggart is our foil. Two packs remain. Unless there's some hidden one in my pile of crap around here. We'll quickly do a review of what we got here. But so far, three legendaries. So we're a bit below our average there. But, ah, cool. Borderless uh, base. A borderless base. Hyperspace base. Okay. Base. He's like, this is fine. This is okay, Art. X-Wing Scout. And our rare is Mace Windu. Okay. Okay, so we're up to four legendaries for the box, which is sort of our average, and then a foil Lieutenant Childson. And our last pack is somewhere, except I've misplaced it. <laughs> uh, oh, over here. All right, final pack of the day. This stuff is like a drug, man. I can't stop opening packs. I need to go to Pack Openers Anonymous. We have a rare Eden Urso. A nice borderless base, so that's probably one of the better starts. You can get to one of these, and we are almost to our rare. Our rare is going to be Strafing Gunship, and then we have a foil cell block guard. So a bit of a lackluster finish there, but we did get four legendaries. 
Uh, actually, I think we got five. I forgot the Millennium Falcon is in here buried. So we got five legendaries. Obviously, the, the Vader is a big highlight there. And uh, the Home One foil and a Millennium Falcon there. So we ended up with five rares, a bunch of, I'm sorry, legendaries, a bunch of interesting, uh, you know, foils and borderless stuff. I don't think we got any borderless foil. Uh, I don't think we got any borderless foil rares, unfortunately, but so it goes. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. If you liked the video, like, subscribe. I got one box left, and then that's it for this set because I cannot afford this anymore. So thanks for hanging. I'll catch you next time.